Hi, my name is Kayla and I'm the registered dietitian at Wellstar Health Place. And today I want to talk to you about bacteria. Yes, that's right, bacteria, but not the type of bacteria that makes you sick. I want to talk to you about the good bacteria, the bacteria that can do a lot of good things for us. You may also know it by another name, it's called probiotics. Now, of course, you can get probiotics from a supplement in any store, uh, but it's actually, I like you to eat them. Um, so these are some probiotic foods that you can pick up. One of, my, one of the most common foods uh, is yogurt. So you may have had yogurt uh, in a snack or a breakfast. It is full of good, healthy probiotic bacteria. But some of these other foods you might have not heard of. One of my favorites is actually kombucha. Uh, you may have heard some hipsters raving about this on the street, uh, but it is a fizzy fermented tea. It sort of tastes like vinegar, a tiny bit like alcohol, just kind of be prepared for that taste. It is a fermented drink, uh, but it's a great thing to get in your daily probiotic need from food. Um, there are also things like kimchi, which is just your fermented cabbage condiment, uh, really good on a lot of savory foods. There's things like miso, which comes from soy. Uh, there's also kefir, which is kind of like a drinkable, fermented uh, milk kind of probiotic. Um, so these are all the different types of probiotics that you can put into your body. Um, now probiotics, what are they good for? Why are we even talking about this? Probiotics are great for any sort of digestive issues, things like constipation, uh, diarrhea, bloating, gas, indigestion. They can also really help with your sweet cravings too. Now, if you want your probiotics to really work for you, you need to feed them. They're bacteria, remember, they're alive. So how do you do that but with prebiotics? Now, prebiotics come from things like uh, fibers from asparagus, uh, bananas, actually garlic is a really good prebiotic too and a great way to flavor your food. Um, so these are all the ways that you can keep your bacteria uh, healthy in your gut. Basically, just a healthy diet of fruits and vegetables feeds your probiotics. Now, if you feel like you still need some more advice with your nutrition and your diet, there are dietitians out there just like me to help you. In fact, you can actually see me for a one-on-one -on -one visit. Uh, if you need some more details, just click the link below, and I hope to see you then.